season to be blessed. God made you promise, and you pass the test. He'll open up a window and pour you out a blessing. It's your season, all to be blessed. Say it again, y'all. It's your season, all to be blessed. God made you promise, and you pass the test. He'll open up a window and pour you out a blessing. It's your season, all to be blessed. Listen. I'm blessed in the sea, I'm blessed in the field, I'm blessed going out and I'm, I'm blessed coming in, you open up a window and pour you out a blessing, it's your season, all to be blessed. Listen, say it again, Bill. I was saying 
somebody. I was there one day. Used to come to church and play church. I understand. I used to come to the doors every Sunday. Sunday at church. Play at church. Then I had no idea why those people running up down the aisle. Well, see, something happened one day when I was in church. I see no people running down the aisle. And I sat in the back, back there with Benjamin and him. Tears began to flow down my eye. You see, church, I haven't been the same since. But I know why those people are running down the aisle. Because there's something about the name of Jesus that will make you run up down the aisle.
mean? Yeah. If I don't get, you know what people say, if I had a thousand tongues, if I had one tongue like I have, still can't think of enough. Amen? Yeah. Amen. So Lord, I just want to thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord, for all that you've thank done you. for me. Thank Amen? You. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody better thank you. All that he has done. And all that he is doing. You better go ahead and thank him. Because he's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And y'all can excuse me. But I just want to thank you. But just allow me to get up here. My heart is heavy, y'all, but I thank you. For all that he's done for me. And I just thank him for all he's done for you all. But the thing is, he ain't finished yet. If you believe yourself and you believe the word, he just get started. The reason I say he just get started because we still here. So for that, <laughs> I said thank you. I don't know about you all, but I, I see the spirit in the place. Amen. 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 And see, I, I, I don't know what it is. Well, yes, I do. It's the Holy Spirit. The down on the inside. They're bringing that thing up on the outside. But I thank him. We go to the the first reading is back right here, though. 555. The promise of the Holy Spirit. 555. The promise of the Holy Spirit. Come from John chapter 14, verses 15 through 26. When you have it, say amen. Amen. Don't have it, say I don't have it. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> and the reason that Father says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray to God, and he shall be with all comfort, that he may abide and be forever. Even the spirit of the truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not, neither know of him, but you know him, be dwell with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. And the day shall He that has my commandments to keep them, is it he it is that loveth me, he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. You Jesus said unto him, Jesus said unto him. If a man love me, he will keep my word. And my father will love him, and he will come unto him and make our abode with him. These things I have spoken unto you, be ye present with you.
Now we got a welcome by the October birthday member, Nancy Bob Clerk, Mark down that.
my pastor. Do we thank each and every one of y'all for your wonderful gift? And let's bless the choir. For singing this song of God in this morning in this place. Well, you know I'm not proud, but you have blessed my soul. Now we have the, the hymn of inspiration by us. Fantastic choir. And then we will have the sermon of my pastor. Amen. My brother. Amen. My friend. Amen. Man of God. Amen. Bring up the word of God. Amen. Sent by God. We to hear from God. Come on, man. It's our pastor. Welcome. Come. Come on, choir. Yeah, God is my everything. Huh? If you believe that, give God some praise. Amen. All right. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Use your gift.
of what this world say about me or say that it is, God is still in charge.
God, we are so great. Yes, God. And God, we are so thankful, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But Lord God, I know if it's not for others, God, Lord God, you have looked beyond my fault. Yes, God. My fault. Yes. And you have still met my every need, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. God, we are so, so thankful, God. Yes, God. That you are still God all by yourself. Yes. That you still say hi, God, and you are still looking low, God. Yes. And God, you are acting as an intercessory, Lord God. Yes. For us all, God. Yes. God, I'm so thankful, God. Yes, God. Thank you. I'm so thankful, God. Yes, God. For individuals in this body, God. There's no God been through the curve of Lord. Yes, God. Thank you. But Lord God, you have positioned them. And to the position, God, you have called them, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Lord God, it's in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, Lord God. Lord God. That has overcome the infirmities, God. Thank you, Lord. Then he are praising you, God. Yes, God. Thank you. And giving you glory, God. God, we commend everything open to their hands, God. Yes, God. Thank you. Have your way in this space, God. Yes, And have your way, God, with your people. Yes, God. Yes. This is a blessing. We do pray. Amen.
this particular text, you will find the name word record. And they returned from the searching of the land after 40 days. They went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to the congregation of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And to the wilderness of Paran and Kadesh and wore back, wore word, back word unto them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came into the land with a death center. And sure, it surely it flows with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, uh, the people be strong that dwell in the land. And the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there, and the Adamics dwell there in the land of the Sodom. Mm -hmm. The Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains and Canaan that dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, we are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which said, what they have said unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone and searched it is a land that even up is the habitat. Therefore, all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. Mm -hmm. And there we saw the giants and the son of Anus, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. We thank God for the reading and lesson of his already blessed words. Just for a few moments this afternoon, Talk on the subject. Um, it ain't what it looked like. It's not what it looked like. We find that often in our our lives that uh, we 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 run into some hiccups. We realize that sometimes as we begin the journey in life, it's not, uh, it don't always uh, work out or turn out the way, the way we thought it would turn out. Mm -hmm. we, we sometimes uh, uh, enter into different relationships and, and we, 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 uh, sometimes uh, assume that uh, life is going to um, be a bit of roses. But amongst them roses, you find that there are some thorns. We, 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 we often, uh, uh, when we are going through or we are dealing with situations in our lives, uh, many times there are some distractions that come to distract us uh, uh, from uh, even uh, uh, looking and, 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 and realizing the promises of God. And God promised that, uh, uh, that he will be there for us. Uh, uh, 
And God said that in his word that and greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. Uh, so, so, so my brothers and, uh, and, and my sisters, uh, uh, we know that uh, if uh, we continue to uh, live life, that we're going to have some struggles, we're going to have some ups and downs. Uh, but trust and believe that God is with us through our heartaches. God is with us when we are going through valley experience. As a matter, as a matter of fact, when we are in the valley, we are able to look up into the hills from which cometh our help because we know that our help cometh from thee. Uh, uh, we, when we begin to uh, unwrap this uh, uh, particular text, we, we understand that uh, God has already uh, uh, given and promised Israel the, uh, the promised land. Uh, 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 but, but, but in the midst of uh, God promising Israel the promised land, and, 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 and when in the midst of them, uh, uh, being in the wilderness before they could see the promised land, God had told them uh, that he was going to give them the land uh, that's flowing with milk uh, and with honey. We understand that in the midst of uh, 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 they uh, uh, being in a journey, in the midst of being uh, in a place between uh, their situations uh, and their present uh, uh, circumstances, uh, uh, that they begin uh, uh, to lose faith. Uh, many times in the midst of what's going on in the midst of our lives, uh, that uh, sometimes we will lose faith uh, simply because uh, things look uh, a way uh, that it really ain't. Uh, we understand in the midst of sometimes uh, when it's not uh, what messes us up when we look at things with our eyes, uh, but when we look at things in the midst of our minds, uh, and our minds will uh, tell us one thing when it's something totally different. The Bible said Moses uh, uh, had sent some men uh, uh, up to the land that was promised them uh, and told them to go uh, spy out the land. Uh, he told send them up and, and they go uh, uh, to the land and, and, and they see uh, the fruit of the land. They see the land uh, is sure enough uh, flowing with milk and honey. I see this with their own eyes. Uh, uh, but in the midst of it with their minds, uh, uh, they see uh, uh, these, these, these uh, uh, men of great Ashua. And they begin uh, in their minds say that they are greater than we are. Many times my people, uh, uh, because of situations, because of circumstances, uh, sometimes uh, our situations look bigger than we are, but I want you to know they're not bigger than the God that we serve. I serve a God that says, ah, and look low. I serve a God that, that looked out on nothing and said and spoke and it became. I serve a God that put the in space and created the whole human race. I serve a God that is God all by himself. I serve a God that was in the beginning, the God that is now, and the God will be in the end. I serve a God that is powerful, that he will just speak to thunder. I serve a God that will sit upon his throne and clap his hand and lighten it with cloth upon the fire. I serve a God that will open his and thunder will roll. I serve a God that is my everything. He's all I need. He's my everything. I serve a powerful God. And they come and they come back and they bring a report uh, 
back to Moses. And Caleb said, uh, guess what? Uh, we, we, we searched the land. Took them 40 days to search the land and he said, surely uh, the land that God has promised us is flowing with milk and honey. And, 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 uh, and, uh, and here is uh, the few devil. My brothers and sisters, uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, what, we, what we need, uh, God has put the blessing already uh, in the palm of my hand. Uh, uh, but because of, of, of naysayers, uh, uh, because of individuals that sometimes uh, we hang with, uh, sometimes uh, because of their nativity, we refuse uh, to see and to understand that God has already given us the victory. We have the victory in the palm of our hand. Hey, they, uh, they, they, uh, Caleb said, uh, come on, uh, let's go back at once and, and, and let us possess the land that God has already given us. Uh, how do you know when, 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 when we understand the promises of God, when we understand and realize uh, that God has already uh, put it in the midst of your destiny. Ain't no devil in hell can stop or block you from whatever God had for a store for you. God said before he formed the world, he, he, he already had predestinated your life. So guess what? No matter what twist or turn we think we take in life, God's got what? If we hang in there with God and God will hold on to us, that we will one day reach our destiny, but we have to continue to push our way through. The Bible said that when Caleb said, let us go up and let us possess the land because we can overtake them. What Caleb was thinking and understanding that the God that he said had made us more than the overcomers and we can conquer whatever job Frame up all of the outside wall. Mm -hmm. 
And then in order to create one, you got to be a walls of petitions. And many times in the midst of it, uh, uh, people, you got to be careful who you talking of what you're dealing with. Uh, because sometimes uh, people will bring uh, two by fours into your wall, I mean, into your life, uh, so you build up walls. Uh, and guess what? Uh, they have you uh, seeing stuff uh, that ain't what it look like. They said that not 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 only not only is uh, uh, the city uh, had walls, got some people in there. They look like the sons of Enoch. They are they are giants with great statue and and. They are, they are greater than we are. We got to be careful when uh, we allow the enemy uh, uh, to have us to think less of ourselves when God said that uh, we are the greater. And they begin to say that, uh, um, guess what, and, 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 and in our own sight, we're, we're, we're just bad And that's the way uh, that they are looking at us, uh, that we're just bad uh, But But how many of you uh, know the, uh, the metaphor of a grasshopper? Even, even, even though uh, that grasshopper is a little small creature, but that grasshopper is able to, to leap to higher heights. Uh, that, that, uh, it might be a, a little creature, but that, 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 that grasshopper is able to, to leap uh, over obstacles uh, that is in their life. Uh, you gotta understand, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, when we have the faith in God, uh, to know that God has said that whatever God said, no matter whatever comes and get in our way, uh, it won't stop you. Uh, only you will stop you. Uh, but you gotta understand, uh, even if you're a grasshopper, God has given you some leaps uh, and bounds uh, that you can leap above every trial, every situation that is put in your way. I come to help somebody in the house uh, to let you know uh, I don't care how bad things look in your life. I don't care how hard you been struggling. I serve a God uh, that is not everything. I Is the enemy. When 
And uh, we just don't walk by faith. Hallelujah. You see, you see, uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, you got uh, uh, the word of God said faith is the substance of uh, things hopeful and the evidence of things not seen. But with some of us, uh, we say, uh, if I don't see it, I don't believe it. But my brothers and sisters, that's not faith. And one thing about it is uh, we got to walk by faith and not by sight uh, and continue to lean uh, upon the arms of God. And guess what? No matter how, how big your enemy look, it's not bigger than God. No matter how big your problem is, it's not bigger than God. Sometimes in the midst of our lives, we think that is the worst thing. What we looking like, guess what? Everything that looks like is not what it is. Um, years ago when Winter Oakback Steakhouse and we were there and they bought this bread that looked black. Like, I don't want none of that. That don't look right. <laughs> Nigga said, my dad tired. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, honey, help yourself. <laughs> but one time I, I tried it and it was pretty good. Somebody was right. Huh? Somebody was right. And, and, and. <laughs> It, it just taught me a lesson that, uh, uh, that and it ain't what it looks like. Huh? But sometimes I'm going to stand on it is what it looks like. I, I ain't trying it, I ain't messing with it, because I know what it's see. But it, it, it just shows us how the enemy will influence our mind. Because they had already went into the land and they had saw uh, the land just as God had promised it. Not only they 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 got some fuel from the land and took it back with them. Isn't it ironic how we will believe God for some things and then other things we won't believe God for? Huh? Amen. You know, Sometimes we 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 had the mindset that you know it's it's not gonna get any better. It's getting worse. All right. So we 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 begin to adopt that in our mindset, and now that's all we gonna believe. You see, uh, God. Uh, promised them that he was going to give them the land flowing with milk and honey. God said that he had promised you a prosperous life. That he had promised you a long life that would satisfy him. Now the doctor has seen something in your report. And now you're doubting 
what the word of God says. But God is a promise keeper. And God will never break his promise. See, uh, I'm a firm believer that God has two wills. He has his permissive will, and then he has his perfect will. And the more that I'm living life, I want his perfect will and not for his permissive will. Huh? Because it's just like a, 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 a parent. A kid knows that if they, they, they were a parent long enough, keep on begging them. That the parent is going to say, here, go ahead and take it and get out of my face. You keep begging God long enough. All right. Mm. Huh? Come on, man. God said, God is going to permit it and tell you to get out of his face. Mm. But let me know how that works for you. Right. God is a great God. Yes. And just as Caleb saw it, through his eyes, that they could, that he could, that they could overtake him. The other spies saw in their eyes that they was already defeated. When you take your eyes off God, you have already been defeated. Because one thing uh, is, 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 is not always uh, uh, look the way that it seems. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, because over 2,000 years ago after they had hung uh, our Savior between earth and sky, after they had uh, hung him high and, 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 and stretched him wide, after they had beat him and whipped him and spit upon him and, and stripped him uh, of his garments, oh, some folks... Uh, so uh, uh, a defeated, a defeated man, Come on. Mm -hmm. but he, he wasn't a defeated man. Some of them saw uh, it when he said he had given up the ghost and, and said it is finished. It wasn't meaning that he would finish. It was meaning that he had finished it. And how do you know, even when they burned him in a boy's tomb, they looked like it was all over and done. And my brothers and sisters, when the girls, the women, came to play spaces early that Sunday morning, uh, the angel sat it on the sceptical and they said why are you looking for the dead the, the among the living your Christ have risen my brothers and sisters understand this my God has risen and because he lived no matter what you're going through no matter what look like no matter how sick and tired you are being sick and tired understand God is a God that is still able God is a God that will finish whatever he started he's the author and finish of your favor guess what he may not start to confuse you but he'll finish it because my God It ain't what it, it looks like. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you know, there have been some physicians that have saw one thing and they go back and look and I can't believe this. I don't see what I thought I saw. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to tell you a true story. My ex-sister-in-law and her husband had went into Africa. When uh, they had gotten into Africa, she had this gold chain around her neck. And some guys had attacked her to take the chain from her, off her neck and when her husband um, got tired to stop them, they had the homemade guns and they had shot him. And they were saying that he they had him laying in this facility on the bed. And they said the only way that he would be able to survive was if they had somebody to come in and to plane him, aircraft him out of Africa back into the U.S. and how much that would come. And that night while he was laying in that facility, he said uh, that uh, when uh, they flew the, the doctor in, that the doctor came in and he began to examine him, and the doctor said, y'all don't, y'all don't, why y'all come here with it? So somebody already that done surgery on him, he gonna make it. They were like, ain't nobody, Ain't nobody, ain't nobody done no surgery on him. We don't, we don't, we didn't even have nobody in this country that can do that type of surgery. He said, somebody done perform surgery on him and he's gonna make it. it comes to find out that when he was able to wake up and to testify, he said that during the night, he saw this vision of this doctor with long white hair that came into his room and did a procedure on him. I'm, I'm, I'm not lying, this is, this is, this, this is a true story. And they were saying, we don't know how it happened. We don't know who could have do it because we do not have nobody over here in this country that perform that kind of surgery. He's still living there. I just want you to know what is impossible to man is not impossible to our God. He can do anything yes. but fail. Yes, what I'm trying to tell you is do 
not allow the enemy to 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 alter your mindset. Then we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us. Stand on the promises of God. Guess what? If He promises it, huh? Wait for it. Huh? If He said, wait for it. Huh? Huh? God is a God that will do the impossible in the midst of it when it don't look like what it seems. We're going to ask this. Tonight.